good morning on this Monday, June 18th. And I'm heading into the office. John and Nick are at home. Neil's at work. Uh, yeah, it's a Monday morning and I had a really hard time getting up this morning. I mean, I, my alarm was set for 6.30 and I'm not terribly late. It's 8 o'clock right now, a couple minutes after 8 right now. So I should still be at work by like 8.30. Um, so I'm not like super, super duper late. But I'm not early either. So I'm um, being good today. I have a glass of coconut milk this morning instead of orange juice. So that's good. I uh, plan on having a salad at lunch. That's the plan at least. Um, the cafeteria in my building or the cafe in my building has a salad bar. And I guess they get food shipments on Tuesday because Mondays the salad bar is always half price. So I think they're trying to like clear out the previous week's salad for this week's salad, if that makes sense. So my plan is to get a salad at lunch. So we'll see how that goes. Maybe by the time I get there, it'll be sold out, but we'll see. A lot of people in my, so I work, um, in a place that has like a warehouse attached to it. Um, cause some of the business that we support is like warehousing and shipping and stuff. And, uh, I'm in the IT department, but the, there's another whole section that does like the business part, like the buying and selling of the warehouse stuff. And a lot of people at this location start in the warehouse, spend, you know, five, 10 years in the warehouse, and then they uh, move on to the business area and do the buying and selling and all that stuff. And because they worked in the warehouse, I'm assuming this is why, um, they start work at 6 a.m. Even once they're in the business area, they start work at 6 a.m. So, yeah. I am not a morning person. <laughs> said that many times before. I am not a morning person. So, uh, I get there at 30. What's funny is when I go on my Fridays, which I soon should be working from home, hopefully, but my Fridays, I, uh, after four o'clock, the place, like the lights go out, like all the lights are on automatic sensors. And after four o'clock in the afternoon, the lights go out and I'm sitting there by myself. Uh, now my, cause my, I'm in an office with like walls and stuff my office lights well my office lights will go out all the time anyway because the sensors are pointing the wrong direction so if i'm sitting in my office i sometimes will have to like push my chair back from my desk and wave my arms in the air for the light to come back on so that's fun um but the the bigger office outside of my little office the lights will go off on friday because there's nobody in there. But even during like the first half of the week, um, by the time I leave at like 5, 5.30, there are very few people there anymore. And actually, because I've been going in earlier than I was at my last uh, location, my last location I was going in like 8.39. Now I've been getting there between like 8 and 8.30. Um, so it's it's... I'm, I'm not staying as late. If I was staying till 5.30, I would probably be the last person there. When I leave at 5 o'clock, because typically I get there about 8.15, when I leave at like 4.45, 5 o'clock, um, there's usually only maybe 5 to 10 cars in the parking lot. Because everybody that works there is like early morning people. So. Anyway. I'm going to get to work. I realized I forgot something at home, but I'm not going to go back to do it. It's fine. I'll live with it. It's not a big deal. So I'm going to head into work though and get my day on. I've got a bunch of meetings today if I remember correctly. Um, they did issue me a cell phone so maybe I'll look at my calendar on my cell phone. Um, I think I've got, I think I've got a 9 o'clock. I know I've got a 10 and I might have an 11. I know for certain I have a 1 because we were supposed to have a meeting on Thursday that, um, <clears throat> my boss didn't show up to within the first 10-15 minutes 
Um, so it was rescheduled for today at one o'clock. So I know there's a one o'clock and then my team meeting is supposed to be at one thirty, but I'm gonna push it back till two o'clock. So yeah. Anyway, I am going to get to work and I will see you guys tonight. Bye. I'm home from work and I decided I need to run to the grocery store, but I have a friend. Uh, Nick and John went over to my brother's house today and helped tear up some carpet. So that was fun, right? Mm -hmm. I don't know how much help Nick was. He made sure that dad drank water. That was the important thing because it is 94 degrees right now. It's very hot here in central Pennsylvania, isn't it? Yes. Anyway, we're heading to the grocery store to pick up something real quick. John is starting dinner. It's actually already 6.45, so yeah. Pretty much all, yeah, I'm sorry, it's 6.42. Nick likes to correct me. I always like to round my times up, but uh, Nick likes to correct me. He likes to be very specific when it comes to the time of day. But anyway, we're going to the grocery store. I'm going to go pick something up. John is starting dinner. We were going to film a mukbang, but then decided against it. Uh, just because Neil came home from work and fell asleep on the couch, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, Neil came home and fell asleep on the couch. And I'm not feeling very energetic myself. I was really dragging this morning, uh, having a hard time. And I'm sorry if the sound is really bad because the air is blowing. But anyway, um, I was having a really hard time this morning. I was really dragging. Just all in all, just had a really, really difficult morning. And I'm tired. So... I just don't feel like talking on video for a half an hour, although we did film a taste test because we had some uh, vegan mozzarella cheeses that expired tomorrow. So we wanted to get those taste tested today. So we did and John threw them in the freezer so that they would keep and we can keep them later. Um, yeah, but for now we're going to the grocery store. We just have to pick up like one or two things and then we're going home. So, sound good Nick? Sound good. All right, we shall see you guys later. Uh, I'm outside. <laughs> I'm never outside. <clears throat> That's kind of why I said it like that. But um, this is my bedroom right here. You can see my little light that you always see over my shoulder. So I have this window and this window. And when I'm sitting in my bed, I can look outside and see these. And I wanted to show you guys my flowers because they're really pretty. My air conditioning unit's running because it's so pretty warm, but these are right outside my window. I always thought they're really pretty. So they only bloom like, you know, once a year or whatever. Um, and I'm afraid they won't be still alive when we get back from vacation. So I wanted to get a couple pictures. That's what I did. I took a couple pictures of those and uh, yeah, so. There's a hole in my siding. I think I remember it being there. Uh, I think that was something that John was mowing the yard and it flew. Uh, something flew, like a stick or a rock or something. So, we have so many weeds. So many weeds. Oh, a bug just flew in my eye. Uh, that's what you were probably seeing over there beside the... Uh, air conditioning unit is all the weeds. I think there's something living in our shed. Don't mind all of the grass, the, the like grass stains and stuff, but see how it's open? I think there's something living in there because even if like you shut it, it pops open. I think something's living in there, but I don't think I ever showed you guys, maybe I did. There's our fire pit. Don't mind that. That actually goes back behind the shed. At one point, we had those hanging up around the uh, pergola to give us some privacy because this road back here is a pretty heavily traveled road. So we actually had hung all those up. I probably should just throw them out. They, um, they broke and stuff. I didn't hang them up correctly. I actually hung them up. And you can see right there is a little piece of one and that needs wa uh, or not washed that needs painted very badly so maybe I'll get the boys to do that this summer probably not though um, so yeah we've got our fire pit here we haven't had any fires yet this summer not gonna happen this week because we gotta get ready for uh, 
for our vacation because not only do we have to get packed but I gotta get uh, videos edited and uploaded and stuff so oh and the broken basketball hoop <laughs> Neil actually said to us the other day he's like I want to get rid of the basketball hoop and we're like okay go ahead he's like but I don't know how we're like dude take take it apart and put it out in the garbage they'll take it you just got to take it apart it can't be in, in all together because it broke actually um i can't remember if it broke over the winter or last summer we had a really bad storm come through and um blew it down and when it got blown down the um the, the headboard cracked so anyway yeah this whole back area needs needs cleaned up a little bit. We've got these stones here and then it goes around. You can see our garbage can sit here um, to there. So we've got this nice little stone area if it was clean. Um, but one of the things that John's definitely going to do, probably not until after we get back from vacation, one of the things John's definitely going to do is um, do some outside work. Probably in July or August. Probably should have done it in the spring, but we didn't, so... It is what it is. Um, he's probably gonna get the, the power washer out and wash down some of this stuff. We've got firewood even. Um, and that's an old grill. Like you can see, it doesn't even have a tank. It's one of those things again, we just gotta take it, take it apart and get rid of it, so. Buttercup wants to know why I'm outside. <laughs> She's looking at me, she barked at me. I see you, Butter. All right, I'm gonna go inside. I was editing videos, but I wanted to show you guys the flowers, so I'll see you guys later. Well, about a half an hour ago, I started feeling very sick. It's about 11 o'clock and my stomach is so upset. And I honestly think it is the... I think it's the medicine. Um, I've been taking it since Friday. And I've been taking it just with dinner. I'm supposed to go up to taking it twice a day. But each day that goes by, instead of my body getting more accustomed to it, it's making me feel more and more upset. Like, pretty much I take the pill, and within a couple of hours, I'm sick to the stomach. I haven't thrown up, but... Today's the worst. Like, my stomach really just feels very very bad I don't know what to do Nick's here with me but it's time for bed so I'm gonna try to brush my teeth and then go to sleep because my stomach is very very upset there's a Wednesday over there too Anyway, um, I had a meeting today at one o'clock that I was not looking forward to. So I'm gonna say that today I am thankful that I made it through that meeting. I, uh, yeah, I'm just thankful I made it through that meeting today because it was the first one that I've done of this kind at this new job and it went okay, so. Anyway, I got out of bed in hopes that I don't throw up. Um, I'm just not, my stomach is really, really upset right now. So I hope today was better than yesterday and I hope tomorrow will be just a little bit better than today. I hope y'all are having a great day and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.